We're in Demarascata, Maine, along the main drag here, going through town. And I'm going to try to paint this view toward the church. You know, the sun is coming and going, but what I like about it is that it organizes pretty simply, as complex as it is, it organizes into the lit street and sidewalk, the light sky, and then the dark masses of the buildings in between. I put my watercolor sketchbook on a homemade easel, which is on a camera tripod. This preliminary drawing is in graphite pencil. I'm doing some measurements and working out the slopes of the lines and getting them straight using the palette as a ruler. Now the colors I'm using, white, raw sienna, terra rosa, peacock blue, and rowney blue. And I want to start by covering most of the area of the surface with a warm wash. I can probably leave that wash as the color of the sky. This is using a watered down version of that raw sienna. And while that's wet, I can bring in some cool colors for the lower part of the picture. So keeping it watery, I mix in the blue with a little terra rosa just to gray it down. And keeping it very wet, I can just get a cooler version of that color toward the bottom. Gouache is similar to watercolor when you use it transparently. As long as it doesn't have white in the mixtures or any opacifier. In other words, it's fairly transparent on its own for the most part which lets you do a watercolor kind of technique like this. This is a flat synthetic brush that I'm using. Letting the paint blend on its own. And the slope of the artwork is nearly 45 degrees or a little steeper than that. That lets the water find its own level and tilt downward. Now that far part of the road near the Baptist Church I'm letting that stay uh, the warm white color of the sky because I want that to be an area that's lit by the sunlight. There's the silhouette of the white church in shadow. It's kind of backlit. Let's speed things up so you can kind of see where I'm heading. Now I'm doing this large area kind of all together. This area that's kind of in shadow. All the vertical planes. Now going back to the street, which is that cool color, I can flick some pigment onto the street to get kind of a rough texture. And then touching the edge of that fairly dry flat brush, I can get some more rough textures for the sidewalk. Now that light cool color is really the color of white on the street level and uh, anything else should be a little bit darker. So the asphalt will be a little darker than that and whatever I leave will be white. So I can paint the white lines of the crosswalk by just painting around that light cool area. And now I'll put in some more key foundational lines in the street, the poles, and try to interpret some of the shapes of that parked red pickup in the distance. I'm lucky that one's staying there a while, so I have some time to look at it. The cars are in constant motion, of course. So when I see one that I want, I can try to paint it in, and if I don't see the car I want, I can work on the poles or something that's not going to change. That diffuser will keep the direct sunlight from shining on my work. Now this is where it gets fun because you're painting light over dark, dark over light, background over foreground, foreground over background, kind of weaving it all together. <laughs> it's probably not every day people paint your garage, right? Yeah, yeah. Has anyone ever painted it before? I love it. No, there's been a lot of pictures taken. Oh, I yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not real. <laughs> I 
a few people come along and say hi. Tell me I'm pronouncing the name of the place wrong. It's really Damrascata. People are really friendly in Maine, and I'm really enjoying just being a fixture on the sidewalk here. This is kind of off season in September. The summer people are gone and the fall leaf peepers aren't here yet, so it's pretty quiet, they tell me. Okay, now I'm just wrapping it up now, finishing up some of the last details. The main thing was getting things started in the right place, with the right perspective. And then I can put the focus on whatever area of the scene uh, seems to be most important. Okay, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to my channel. And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.